I am so excited about today. Sure, you're going to find oceans of possibilities that you're going to enjoy. We're concluding today. our summer reading program. So welcome to what I enjoyed most about the summer reading program at the College and County Memorial Library. Our theme, Oceans of Possibilities. We were on YouTube and in person. So here's a little wrap up. We had our pre-program with Kids Need to Read presents Grow Your Library with over $8,000 in books were donated to the children's department. They even came and did story time for us. It was awesome. And they gave every child present a book. Yeah. And then on YouTube, we had Shelly's Great Oceans of Possibilities. She was pretty awesome. Check it out. Then painting with Brother Nazar, our gifted painter. Yeah, he painted seascapes. And this little girl enjoyed every minute. They had a great time painting with Brother Nazar. Mm-hmm. Mini nutrition education on snacks with the Low Country Food Bank. Literally, they made salsa. And they are they enjoyed it. I think the kids tried new foods just because you introduced it to them. They were a big hit. The children loved the food and their presentation. Taught them a lot. We have these people here to work with us, and this was really a very fun time. I hope you all work with us again. Then we had our very first summer reading carnival. Yes, prizes were received. Many people came to the carnival, over 300. There were plenty to eat and things to do. This little girl wanted to sit in the sun. Yeah, they even got popcorn from Cottageville, Suhaila's Treasures, and a dunking booth. We had a ball. We were even serenaded by Carolyn Burns. The children pet the animals at the petting zoo. They received a balloon and ice cream. They even played spin to win and pick a duck. There was plenty to do. Registration booths were available for them to get more tickets to get more prizes. Special thanks to Kima Cookies and Creations because every child got a cookie when they registered. Soul Food was even there to offer free food. A lot of parents and their children volunteered as well, and we appreciate that. Overall, I can say we had a grand old time at our very first summer reading carnival. The adult and young adult program were also involved. Oceans of Possibilities with Queen Quet. She's always good. She tells true stories related to the ocean. So if you want to see Queen Quet, go straight to our YouTube channel. That's where she is. Then Math Possibilities with Magdalene Monroe. She gave fun facts, played fun games, and children left feeling like they knew about math. Then we had to tell the truth with Miss Literacy. Yeah, we had children to figure out which one is the real character? Special thanks to Elizabeth Laney and Miss Rhonda Kerpak, who served as our actors. And they were good. The children had fun with To Tell the Truth. Yeah, they did. I think the volunteers did too. We gave away a lot of prizes. Mm-hmm. Let me introduce you to Stuart McAdoo. Mm-hmm. So you want to be like me? Information Technology Director was on YouTube. Yes, our special guest did an awesome job, and you have to go check it out if you haven't seen it. Okay? Yeah. Then we had Pork Chop Productions. They returned with the fisherman and his greedy wife. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. They had the pretty lady, the fisherman and his wife, even a fish that was magical. They really enjoyed the, the story. Nadine Johnson's Poetry Slam was awesome. She is a poet and author. And she shared her poems, but allowed the children to share their poems. And she even gave out cash prizes. That was awesome. Every child received a book that she had written. And the volunteers enjoyed it as well. Madison Scott won for the best poem in her age group. And she was pretty good. Then we are on YouTube with kids exercising. Yeah, we talked about the ways to improve your mental health. Yeah, the interactive story time involved you eating right you exercising and getting proper rest okay so make sure you check that video out if you haven't already give me five word game 
That was fun. These little fellas and girls, they actually played the game. They named five colors, five numbers, even five holidays. And these are the winners. They did pretty awesome. Dive deep with South Carolina Aquarium. Yeah, they came and did an awesome program and showed us all the different kinds of different animals that are in the ocean. Nice little crowd there. Do you know the name of that animal? Yeah, that's a little different. And that animal? That's another different animal. Yeah. So you want to be like me, grocery store owner. Yeah, that guy there is Eric J. Campbell. He always has a smile. Well, he's featured in our YouTube channel. So if you haven't already, please check it out. And you'll find out about this young man and his wonderful smile. Bright Star Theater presents The Little Mermaid. They were awesome as usual. And these actors showed a great performance. Um, I like everything, especially The Little Mermaid, because it was funny. What will people say anti-bullying with our special guest, Mignon? Continue being you because everyone else is taken. Yeah, that's her quote. And these children got a chance to talk to her, and she talked to them. It was really awesome. She talked about what people would say if they were bullied. She gave four steps. Go, exhale, stop, and keep away. And the children shared some of their experiences. Mr. Boom Boom and the Music Play Patrol is on YouTube. Yes, he, you can find him on YouTube. So if you have not watched it, please go out and look at it. Superhero Team Trivia. Yeah, Team Storm was in the house with these lovely team players. And Team Joker. I like superhero trivia. Yeah, he had some neat players. Even though Captain America and the Red Ranger guy could not make it, we had a blast. We gave out prizes that Ryan Boombrick gave. And the superheroes that couldn't make it, they were out fighting crime. So, holy cow, kids! Dot com. Jonathan Meshack was awesome in his presentation with his PowerPoints and reading his story. Then we had Storytime with Miss Sheila on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, this is Miss Sheila's third book in the Hannah and Dexter series. Be a little buster. <laughs> and these children are always up for the challenge. Yeah. Then we had the Dream Motivators presents Games of Life Possibilities with Magdalene Monroe and Miss Sheila. I like Dream Motivators because... I got to do my favorite sport and what I want to be when I grow up. Basketball. I like basketball because uh, we got to play and, and it was fair. Yeah, we gave them a chance to play basketball and uh, answer some trivia questions. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. I have to say, Team Green, the green team won. That was Mrs. Monroe's team. And they received a free book. Hen and Dexter, the Litter Busters. And our volunteers thought it was a grand day, too. We decided to close in style. We had the wonderful Uncle Tyrone, the kid's comedian. Uncle Tyrone came to town all the way from Chesterfield, Virginia, and he made us laugh. I liked the comedy show. The dog was funny. He was awesome. He had his puppets and his son, that's a puppet that is, and he was great. The children were falling off their chairs laughing. He even showed a book that he got fun with ventriloquism from the library that someone gave. And there is our group with our guests. Now, our grand finale is today. We'll share that next week. But here are some thank yous that we want to share. Going to Miss Cool Cat Elizabeth as she ventures in a new direction. She always helped out when we needed her to. Here's a special shout out to all of our volunteers and all the work they did. And they are in action there. Allison is sharing out some gifts to our faithful readers. There Jason is setting up our door prizes for Clinko. I love Blinko. There's Madison working on the computer as she always does so nicely. And then there's Children's Services Assistant Robert Gant and... Jason Scott. Special shout out to Madison Scott and Allison Scott. Our LCAA workers, Kamara and Brooklyn. Special shout out to 
Niobia Yates, and Mr. G, Wayne Garrett. Ms. Sheila wants to remind you to please subscribe to the Colleton County Memorial Library. So let's look at the children who had fun at the Colleton County Library's summer reading program. We know the Scott tribe did because they were our volunteers. Happy birthday, Madison Scott, our oldest volunteer. And these children were reading this summer. Did you read this summer? Well, if you did, you got some prizes, and you are awesomely smart. I love getting prizes. There are more children who read and enjoyed our programs. One person got to play chess with our director, Carl Coffin. His name? Mason Scott. See, he reads a lot, so he's pretty smart. Did you enjoy all these beautiful pictures? Then please help me thank Miss April Scott. She is the mother of the Scott children and the smart little boy, Mason. Thank you for listening and watching and keep reading. Hey, it's me, Ryan B. with Universal Nerd. I'd like to take a quick minute just to thank everybody who was involved at the summer reading program at the Collin County Memorial Library. Um, Mr. Carl, Ms. Sheila, the wonderful parents and kids who participated, and Ms. Sheila's staff, her volunteers, who helped make the event um, a great event. So make sure you stay tuned next Friday for another YouTube video. And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care. If you like this video, like and subscribe.